welcome to Aaron's Vape Spot. Of course, you know this is going to be a vaping video. Not a random what I ordered online type of bullshit. Um, where do I start? <laughs> vape wise. Uh, I had a brain fart. I had it. No, I can't remember. Anyway, first thing. If you guys can let, post uplifting comments down below for my little boy. He just graduated second grade. And he's going on third, but he's a little disappointed that he has to do six weeks of summer school. So if you guys could tell him congrats down below, I will let him know next time I video chat him. Big fruit, big wise. Did my, I think you might, he might be a subscriber to my channel. Not 100%. I can't tell who's a subscriber on my channel anymore. I just know I got almost 20. I think... Either I got 20 or almost 20 subscribers. But I think he is. I'm not sure, but I know his Instagram name is if you are a major vapor and you're on Instagram, definitely follow him at SmileKing40. He decided to do a waffle, as they call it, on Instagram because you can't do them on YouTube. He did a waffle for a Game of Thrones themed pod pod system and I want to say he was doing 10 winners random winners and they were going to win a pod system Game of Thrones dragon egg pod system from on cloud vapor it's like I never win any of these you know I tried a couple of times and I just gave up I was like you know what seen it and posted on Facebook when it owns anonymous I'm thinking I'm going to try my luck. I think he posted it on a Facebook. Either that or I saw it on Instagram. I can't remember. I think it was Instagram he posted it. And it popped up on my news feed. On Instagram. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the steps. I'm going to follow what the instructions are. Hell, I may win. I may not. If I don't, I ain't really worried about it. Well... By the fact I'm smiling about it, he literally did, you know, he ended his waffle, waffle, vape raffle, and tagged me in a post. I'm thinking, I'm at work, and I'm about to go on lunch, on my lunch break, and I, I check my Instagram. Your girl just won one. I won a pod, my very first pod. I'm thinking, oh my god, I just won myself a dragon egg. I'm like so excited, they're really cute, it looks like the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones. And when I won it, I was telling my fiance about it, he's like, oh that's cool, this and that. And I started watching, I literally downloaded Hulu, because I was trying to figure out a way to watch it for free. Downloaded Hulu, and you know, added the HBO subscription to it and literally I started been watching Game of Thrones and I looked at the and I remember the pictures of the pods and then in one episode if you guys haven't watched it trust me you're gonna want to watch it it starts off slow but first majority of the first season starts off really slow but it does pick up it gets you like I kid you not I was really about to fall asleep because of how boring it got and then all of a sudden it drew me back in because of the dragon eggs. The nearest has fucking dragon eggs as a wedding gift. That's the only part I'm going to say. And I looked at the Instagram post. On one cloud vapors Instagram. Your girl literally had a blonde moment. The bleach had sleeped into her damn brain. She didn't read all the, the hashtags. Tigerian. I probably pronounced it wrong. You know, Game of Thrones, Daenerys, all that. I'm like, oh, I got my own little dragon egg. I'm like excited about it. And of course, I responded to to him, messaged him, DM'd him, gave him my info. Pro dad was over 21. God. I ain't been 21 in 10 years. I'll be 
32 this year. So make it 11 years. Well, I proved that I was of age. He told me to email the company yesterday. So I did. I told him what color egg I would like. I wouldn't care what egg I get. I'm just happy. You know, I gave him my email, my address, and stuff like that. I told him where I wanted at. So, of course, when I do get it, when they do, hopefully, it's been two days. So, tomorrow, hopefully, fingers are crossed, I get a response from the company. But your girl has won her first vape raffle. Anyway, on with this review I'm doing. I went to Wesley's, got me some cool drool, went straight, literally walked in, went straight past all their name brand juices, looked at their list and said, can I get 150, I mean 120 bottle, and the girl looked at me like I was crazy, I was like, I mean, oh I'm sorry, I mean 120 mil, because I know they don't come in 150, of cool drool, she's like, sure, what nicotine, brain fart, forgot to tell her the nicotine, because usually I'll tell them I need a 50 mil, I think it's 50, See a 50 or 60 mil and three neck of blah 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 the juice and said oh three neck so she went back and got it I keep seeing this I saw this black box the last time I went there it drew my attention again well curiosity got the best of me looked at the box Looked at it, picked up a couple of wild juice, check, was checking the nicotine. Most of it was sex neck, so I was a little disappointed. Well, it's all one from Clutch Vapors, and it was called Joker. Don't know the flavor profile. So I asked them, I was like, do you guys know any of the flavor profiles of the juice? They're like, actually, no, we don't. This is an overstock of juice we're actually trying to get rid of, and it changes daily. I was like, huh. Hmm. 10 bucks for a 60 ml bottle of juice is not bad. I got Clutch Vapors Ringer in 3 neck 60 40 blend. And it actually says, states it in the ingredients that it's a 60 40 blend. When it bought, paid for it, waited for the guy in front of me actually. And I was shocked. I thought I spent a lot at a vape shop. No, the guy that literally in one sitting unless I'm buying a mod I know I'm gonna spend a lot but this dude literally spent the most I've spent honestly at Wesley's it was like a hundred dollars hundred and seven dollars and that was for a mechanical mod for tube mod for my fiance and it just sits there he likes it but he's not really using it I think it's the, maybe the fire button So I come out, show him what I bought. He's like, I asked about this bottle of juice. I was like, oh, it was just 10 bucks. It's like, I couldn't pass it up. He's like, oh, that's cool. What's the flavor profile? What does it taste like? I was like, I don't know. He's like, babe, you literally bought a juice that you may not like. I was like, yeah, I know. He shook his head and went to the grocery store. I forget what he was. I think we needed toilet paper or something. So, I'm sitting in the car. It's about eight, almost 80 degrees. Sitting in the car. Decided to Google it. And Ringer. I didn't put two and two together. Now that I actually looked up the flavor profile. Ringer. Ringleader of a circus. It's a cir your circus fla favorite treat one of your favorite circus flavor favorite treats you can get at the circus is cotton candy and it's a blue fluffy cotton candy I sniffed it I thought it was maybe something tropical but then when I googled it and actually looked it up I was like oh okay yeah I might like it I actually dig it with the cool drill the menthol with that, it's like, gives it like kind of like a menthol. You're getting the flavors from Cool Drool, which is, if you guys don't remember, watermelon, kiwi, kiwi, melon, and a hint of cucumber with menthol. And then, of course, the sugary spun candy floss. 
So it's like all those flavors rolled into one. And it, it's good. I actually like the mixture of the two. It's pretty steeped. No weird aftertaste, thank God. No harsh throw hit. Smooth as a baby's ass. Now, since it is a candy flavored juice, as y'all know, on RDAs and coils, and it, any kind of bakery, really sugary vape juices, they gunk your coils up really quick and really bad. So, this is a brand new set coil, clean coil, clean cotton. I'll give you guys a week update. I ain't used my, I lost my RDA. I was trying to remember where I had it, and I couldn't remember. So I literally was going through all my boxes, finally found it in the box. Oh, in my, I can't remember what box I had it in, but I did find it. Then while I was thinking about it, I had to give my, my friend, or my best friend, my, one of my best friends who I traded the mod for, traded setups for, this, which has all the goodies in it. I kid you not, I didn't even scratch it. Because I was like, he has my setup, has my old setup. I was like, but he doesn't have none of the goodies. Make sure, yeah, it has everything in it. So, it's like, I need to end up giving him this box. So, he has the box and stuff. And of course, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm vaping this at 45 watts, the coolest rating 0.16, volts are at 2.67, and puffs is 7 702 puffs on this mod, since I had it. Now 703. <laughs> but anyway, I gotta get ready for work. Enjoy my fun day. Also, side note, my tongue is healing nicely. Tomorrow marks week two. Your girl changed her tongue ring after a week. Literally, it hit one week and I changed it. I've changed it since I got it. Four times. Bad idea to go to Spencer's when you know you have piercings. And you know they're decent en decently enough to be healed. I literally bought my first pack of tongue rings from Walmart for 10 bucks. Then went to Spencer's. They had to buy one, get one 50% off. Your girl had to hit that shit up. Also got some sea salt water spray to keep my piercings clean and to help the healing process go a lot quicker. And of course, I got a jewelry punch card. So I got, I'm buying three more pieces of jewelry just to get a fifth, my last one free. And then starting all over again. So yeah, the tongue ring I got in now. Is a pink camo one because today is Wednesday, and of course at work we wear pink. And I think it was from the movie Mean Girls. And if you remember, there's a scene in there where it's the group of girls saying, "Oh, on Wednesdays we wear pink." Well, we do it at work, <laughs> and it's only a few of us. It's starting a trend. Hopefully, we get everybody to wear pink on Wednesdays and Thursdays are superhero days. So. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to go find me a superhero shirt. And, of course, with Father's Day coming around, my dad is a big, and I mean die-hard, 49ers fan. So, I got to get him either a 49ers cup, something with 49ers on it, and mail it off to him. Well, I actually give it to him on Father's Day. So, me and my sissy are gonna go hopefully it's still we're still on for it last time I asked her we are going to go and take my dad to probably Prim Bros awesome burgers we'll go have a drink with them because we're both of age thank god I can't wait this is gonna be a fun father's day for him he's gonna get two of his daughters together with him have a drink with them and just have fun on father's day so till next time y'all Peace.